Hello and welcome to this next episode of Being Effective with Upnote. As we look through different ways of using Upnote, one of the things that I really wanted to show you is all of the different things that I do in Upnote to manage projects. So that's what we're going to be thinking about today, looking at how I manage projects in Upnote. Now, the first thing that I want to do is show you the specifics for uh, a project notebook. So let me just minimize that. You'll see that I've got a sort of a master top level projects notebook here. And then underneath it, I've got active projects, paused projects and future projects. So active projects is for any projects that I'm actively working on at the moment. Paused projects are for projects that I've maybe started or made some progress on, but for whatever reason, I'm not working on them right now. So they're paused. And then future projects are just ideas that I've got for things that I want to do in the future. Now, within future projects, there is uh, a note which uh, I've just added to my quick access for the purposes of this video. Someday maybe. The someday maybe is just a single bullet list of ideas, things that I may get around to someday. It's just one note. It doesn't take up much space. It doesn't take up any sort of mental hard space, hard disk space in my mind. It's just a place to dump things that someday I may get round to them. Um, but if it's a project that I actually want to take action on at some point in the, the near future, then it will get a, a future project. Uh, it'll go in my future projects notebook. Now, the way I do that is every project that goes in either active projects, pause projects or future projects will get its own notebook, which is a sub notebook of the master notebook. So you can see here, these are the, uh, the projects that I'm working on primarily at the moment. Uh, I'll just show you how I do that though. So I'm going to create for the purposes of now a new nested notebook within my demo notebook, and I'm just going to call it new project. Um, now I'll just explain, uh, I have a sort of a color system. So yellow is something that I use for personal stuff. So this would be a personal project because it's yellow. Now what I do, is the first thing I do is I create a main project note from templates. Um, let's just make that yellow. Cell background yellow to make sure you know what it is. And I'm going to delete that and replace it with a project tag. What I would normally do at this point is just to make it stand out in my notes list, I will add the yellow circle uh, to make it clear that it's a personal project, master note, and then I would give this the same name as the notebook. Uh, and then that would get copied into here as well. And let's just make that the same size. I would then fill out some of this information if I wanted to. So what areas does this serve? That would be areas of focus. So for example, you might say that this would be um, related to personal development. Let's just say that that's what this is about. And this would be an area where I'd fill out any goals or long-term goals that this particular project was serving. I don't always do this. I'm not particularly rigid about this, but it's something that I would do sometimes. If it has a deadline, I would fill this out. Sometimes I will update the current status. Again, this isn't really rigid, it's a bit arbitrary, and then notes is just there if there's anything else that I want to throw in. And then I have a little reminder in the, the templates to create two new notes for initial planning and thinking and actions. So this one, I'll make it an actions, and I'll just, again, give that the same name. Now you'll see here that the actions note has three collapsible sections on it. Uh, let's just make that yellow because it's a personal project and make that yellow as well. Now, the reason why I use collapsible sections is rather than just having a completely unordered list of tasks, some of which are checked off, some of which aren't, that I have to look at and think through and decide what am I going to do. 
Any completed actions will be moved into this section. Any outstanding actions will primarily be in this section. And then anything that I specifically want to do this week whilst I'm working on the project will get moved into active actions. So most of the time when I'm working on a project, these two will be closed and I'll just work from this list, which will normally be tasks that I've moved there for the time frame that I've got. And now the other main note that I will have in any project notebook is just this planning note. Now I have a project plan tag um, and then I'll just put the name of the project in there. And I use this project plan note really as a sort of a relatively unstructured place where I can throw down all of my initial brainstorms, all of my initial thoughts, all of my initial ideas and plans for the project, thinking about any actions that I might need to take to start off the project. And there's not really any predefined structure. I just throw my ideas and thoughts into this particular note. What I will tend to do is with this one, because it's the main project note, I will pin that to the top so it's always at the top. And then I don't need that anymore because I've done that. And then I will normally select all of the notes in the project, copy the links to them, and then just paste them in here as a kind of a... So this master project note has like a table of contents for the whole notebook. And that will be what my project notebook looks like. Now, in terms of actually planning how I'm going to work on these projects and when I'm going to work on these projects, as I said, active projects go in this notebook, pause projects go in that notebook, and future projects are in this one. I don't really need to worry about those two for the purposes of now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the demo this week's project note, and I've got these things in my sidebar here. So what I'll do is I'll think, well, which of these active projects am I actually going to work on this week? So let's go for this one. So I'm going to copy the link for the new project, and I'm just going to paste that in there. Uh, I do want to work on my website and branding redesign this week, so I'm going to paste that one in there as well. Just links to the project notebooks. Uh, I want to increase my reach online this week, and I'm going to paste that one in there. And I'm going to work on that one this week as well. And I generally aim each week to work on between four and six projects in a week, depending on what else is going on. Let's also create some digital products this week as well. Let's do that too. So these are the projects that I'm going to work on this week. And then what I will do is I will think, well, OK, so this new project that I've just created, um, I'm going to give some significant time to that on Monday. And I'm not going to work on it on Tuesday, though, but I am going to give time to it on Wednesday and Thursday, and then not on Friday. See, because my website and branding redesign, I am going to spend most of Tuesday on that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I really want to do my coding course on Friday. Um, and I'm actually going to do some of that on Saturday as well. And then creating and selling digital products, that's also something I'm going to give a bit of time to on, on Monday and on Wednesday. And then increase reach online, I'm going to do that on Thursday and on Friday. Um, and depending on what I decide, I might have two or maybe three projects allocated to each day. Generally, I try and leave the weekend a little bit clearer. And that just helps me think through when I'm going to work on each project during the week. Now, I will normally do this with my calendar open as well, so I can see what other commitments I've got on specific days of the week, how much time I've got to work on projects. And then if I'm wanting to spend a significant amount of time on a project like on Tuesday website and branding redesign I will block a section of time off on my calendar for that but then what happens say on a Monday morning 
when I'm thinking through my plan for the day, let's just get rid of that so you can see this, I will go to my command hub and as I've said before with a video on the command hub and you can see the video building dashboards showing up now. The way I'll do it is I'll go to my this week's projects and I'll just copy the projects that I'm going to be working on on a Monday and then I will paste them into my command hub for my project focus for the day. And then the time allocated to work on that project would show up in my daily agenda, uh, whether that's morning, afternoon or evening. Uh, it may well be that, for example, I decide that my one of my objectives is going to be to work on the new project and therefore that allocated slot would be highlighted in red as an objective. And so there you have it. That is how I use different functions of the editor and UpNote as a notes app to organize my projects, specifically the project notebooks themselves, but also planning how and when I'm going to work on projects during the week. One thing I have not shown you is uh, a month planner, which in my month planner, I would list out the projects that I'm going to work on during the month in there, and then I would allocate the different projects to the different week, uh, doing that in a similar way to you to what you saw for the master this week's projects list. And then what I could do is when I got to, for example, week three of the month or week two of the month, I could just select all of those links that I planned out in my monthly planning and then in my this week's projects, just paste those links in. And then you can copy and paste them to the days as I did before. And so there you go, from the monthly plan, through the weekly plan, through the daily plan, to the project notebook and all of the different notes therein. You can see that is how I plan my projects and how I use UpNote for managing projects. So if you found this video valuable, then please do hit that like button below, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it with other people if you think that might be useful. If there's other people out there you know who love UpNote and use UpNote, and please do check out the other videos that are showing on your screen now. Uh, for other videos in this UpNote series. And we'll see you next time.